Now I know I haven't really posted anything lately regarding the Cobalt or the Saab. I've been pretty busy working, but I mean I'm gonna post a quick little video of some little things I got for the Saab, and uh, when I go back home, I should uh, upload another video from uh, my current situation with the Cobalt and and uh, how much it's progressed. But for now, this is, will be just a little video of of I guess some things I got for the Saab and I can't wait to install them. Watch this situation how much is progress for the Cobalt but I mean in, in reality I haven't really progressed much I guess due to the fact that I'm still purchasing just little little things that I, that I want on my Cobalt before it's actually back on the road. Um, I think I'm just needing like three more things one of them would be uh, a brand new 3 inch exhaust because the one I have is hacked up. Um, a Clutch Masters aluminum flywheel to go together with my Clutch Masters stage 4 clutch. And don't recall the other thing. Um, I think that was it for now. To put the engine back and uh, performance wise. Uh, later on I will get into details with the suspension that I wanted to get for it. And I just remembered what the other thing was. It wasn't three things, it was more like five things. Um, I mentioned that I wanted to get a new three inch exhaust for it. Uh, I mentioned that I wanted to uh, get the Clutch Masters flywheel aluminum. Um, but also, by this weekend I should hit up Jeffrey uh, to get that, the high pressure fuel pump adapter for the LT1 LT4 fuel pumps, as well as the purchase the uh, the LT4 fuel pump or LT1 probably more likely budget wise for now would be LT1 fuel pump and go with the uh, ZZP upgraded fuel cam though um, I would like to go stage 1 or stage 2 but just to get it on the road already um, I can't wait to drive it I mean, haven't driven it in the past 7-8 months but just to get it on the road already I, I'm just going to go ahead and, and go with the uh, ZZP upgraded fuel, fuel pump cam though well, on the sob that I have, it uh, the struts were knocking pretty bad and it was getting annoying. So what I went ahead and, uh, I mean, buying on the budget that I am right now, because since I am buying a lot of parts for the Cobalt as they come in weekly or bi-weekly sometimes, um, I don't really want to spend that much money on the sob right now. But the struts were needed since they were knocking pretty badly. So I decided to buy on a budget. Well, I was looking through eBay and I happened to come across this company called Stag. Um, I did a lot of research on them. I found a lot of great reviews on them. I did find like two or three bad ones, but having to do with bushings. But the strut itself, I mean, it it, uh, it looks like it's a good quarterly strut. Um, they are made in China. So, I mean, they can be faults, but uh, anything can be faulty, really. Um... But uh, I'm just curious to see how well these will perform um, on the Saab and I'll be putting in reviews of them in case any of y'all decide to go this route also and getting some stag shocks this can work out for you. There was a kit on eBay with all four stag shocks and struts and uh, the kit consisted of some it's a German springs which happened to be these Volklang springs um receive those also and they're they're pretty a pretty nice i guess you can say pretty good looking springs um when you open the box it does smell a little bit funky but um it says Volkland made in germany um they're pretty nice they look i guess pretty solid so i uh, can't wait to get this set it up on my car but yeah i'm already walking in the room Gonna set up the laptop, post a video. I also, um, I also polished the car, the Saab, and uh, it looks pretty shiny. I'll post a little clip of it. You can see all that shine that it has now because of the polish. So reflective. That's the first time I ever see it like that.